Hey guys, Brian from Phone Arena here, and today we're going to take a look at the HTC Titan 2, available from AT&T. The Titan 2 is obviously the upgrade to the HTC Titan, and from the looks of it, you can't tell the difference, at least if you're looking at the front. Both of them feature this massive 4.7-inch Super LCD display. The resolution is only 480 by 800, but that is a Windows Phone regulation spec, so even though we've seen a lot of phones with smaller screens that have a higher resolution, they're kind of hampered by Microsoft's regulation. So it is what it is. It's still a very good looking screen, um, especially with the flat colors and the high contrast of the Windows Phone operating system. Everything looks really, really good on this panel. Down below, of course, you're going to have the three capacitive Windows Phone buttons. Up top, you simply have a 1.3 megapixel camera and the earpiece. Like we said, from the front, this is pretty much indistinguishable from the HTC Titan. But if we flip it over, we're going to see that on the back, it is definitely different. It looks a lot more like some of the HTC Android offerings with the nice curved lines. You have the contrasting grays here, dark up top, down below, light down below. Also, here is the removable battery door. Or, excuse us, the removable door. It is not the battery door. It's just the SIM access. And this just pops off so you can put the SIM in. One odd thing, when you do that, the phone turns off. We're not really sure why, but um, it took us a little while to figure out that our phone wasn't defective. But every time you take that door off, your phone is going to power down. So just keep that in mind. But it's a lot better integrated into the bottom. If you recall from the HTC Titan, there was just a real hard line here, uh, plastic bottom, and it was all-inclusive. It wasn't this nice little rounded cutout. It looks kind of like a shoulder on the phone. So a much better job with the back design. One of the things we're going to find here is a 16 megapixel camera. Don't know if the camera's going to be able to focus, but it does actually say 16 megapixels on there. The uh, LED has been moved to the right and the speaker has been moved to the left, so that's the opposite of what we saw on the Titan. Um, but the camera is, like we said, 16 megapixels, and that is a huge increase from the original 8 megapixels found on the Titan. And the other big difference between the Titan and the Titan 2 is the fact that the Titan 2 is an LTE device, so capable of uh, new four gener or fourth generation data speeds. Despite such a large size, the phone actually feels really good in the hand. It's a little bit lighter. Um, the dimensions are basically the same. Uh, the Lumia 8, or 900 is also co-launching with this on AT&T, and even though the Lumia only has a 4.3-inch display, and this has a 4.7-inch display, specs are actually pretty similar. So HTC has done a real good job of making this phone with a huge screen um, easy to hold in the hand. We just have medium-sized hands here, so nothing too big. Um, obviously, if you have petite hands, things are going to be a little bit hard to stretch, but... As you can see, we can move across the screen with relative ease. Um, that was definitely a surprise for us when we first picked up the phone, is how natural and comfortable it felt in the hand. Um, around the side, same exact design as we found on the Titan. You've got the micro USB port. You have the, sh the volume rocker, as well as the dedicated camera key, which is nice to find. Um, up top, you got a power button and a 3.5mm headset jack. You will see the second dual microphone here. This is the noise canceling one. And then the other one is going to be found on the bottom of the phone. So pretty straightforward layout, but like we said, it feels really good. It's got a nice soft touch coating on the back, so it feels solid in your hand. It feels real nice to slip in your pocket. And overall, we're pretty impressed with it. There's not a whole lot to say about the operating system itself. It is Windows Phone Mango 7.5, so you're going to find the same kind of stuff you find on every Windows phone. Um, it's nice to have that cohesive user experience from someone like Microsoft's standpoint, but at the same time, it is a little old to not have the ability to really customize this too much. Of course, tiles can be moved around. Um, you can delete them, you can rearrange them, you can put them however you like. So that is kind of nice. But on the whole, this is a, a very what-you-see-is-what-you-get kind of phone. Um, nothing really to, to report here. In terms of performance, everything runs fairly smoothly. Every now and again, you'll see a little lag. It's not something that we can predict. It's not something that happens all the time. And it's really not all that noticeable. Um, the Titan 2, like the Titan, is powered by a 1.5 gigahertz single-core Qualcomm S2 processor. So not the latest technology with the dual cores and even the quad cores that we're seeing now. But again, that is a Windows Phone spec. So 
not much HTC can do about it. And overall, it runs very smoothly, like we're very used to Windows Phone doing. Somebody new to the operating system, it's relatively easy to pick up and just go, and that's one of the great things to Windows Phone. People switching, um, people who are first-time smartphone users, this is a great operating system for them because everything is very easy to use. So you can see you do have a lot of H or AT&T apps installed here. One of the nice things is if you want to get rid of things, all you do is just press and hold it and uninstall. So something like AT&T UVerse Mobile, you have to be a UVerse subscriber. A lot of people aren't, so you can get rid of that easily and, and free up a little space. But there is 16 gigs of internal memory on this, so there's plenty of space for most people. It's not user expandable, which is another thing we're used to seeing from Windows Phone, but um, with about 14 gigs of user available space, there's still plenty of space on here. We'll uh, hit up Internet Explorer real quick. We'll pop up our keyboard. The keyboard on this is fantastic. We noted that in our Titan review, but everything moves really fast. Taking a quick look at the web browsing experience here, as you see, we have our page loaded. Um, everything zooms in real quickly, double tap, get the pinch to zoom in and out. Everything's nice and smooth, nice and fluid. Being a Windows Phone device, it of course does not use Flash, so there are some sites that you lose some compatibility with based on that, but all in all, it's not a huge deal. The browsing experience on this is pretty good. Um, one of the better browsers out there, this is Internet Explorer, of course, being a Windows Phone. Got the funky little browser bar down at the bottom. And we'll also pull up the keyboard just to show you here. Again, stock Windows keyboard, but with so much space on here, it is really, really nice to type on. The Windows autocorrect feature is amazing, so you don't even have to be all that accurate. It is definitely one of the better touchscreen keyboards we've ever typed on, whether it be Windows or Apple or Android or anything. This is one of our favorites for sure. Of course, one of the main features on the phone is the 16 megapixel camera. So let's just show you the interface here real quick. You can see you just hold the camera button and you launch straight into that. You can even do that with the phone locked, which is nice. You got a little tap and it'll zoom in, autofocus, and take your picture. It's relatively quick, not the quickest in there, but um, it moves pretty well. The panorama, sh panorama shot is nice because you're able to zoom. So we're going to go ahead and press our camera button. And then as you can see, it's going to have us move to the right or to the left. It'll take another shot. And then we'll move again and it'll take one more. Oh, not the greatest because we're kind of working in a limited environment here. However, you can see how easy that is to use. If you take a look at our sample gallery, you'll see that the uh, the test panoramic issue that or file that we had turned out really nicely. So. The 16 megapixel camera is nice. It's not the greatest camera out there. When you zoom in, you do see that the detail is lacking a little bit, but with 16 megapixels, you don't really zoom in fully all the time. So just on your normal viewing mode, even on our 1080p monitor, everything will look really good. Outdoor images especially were spectacular. Um, some real nice macro shots. However, indoors it suffered a little bit. There's some graininess, some blurriness, even in highlight so that is one of the downsides of the phone is even though it's a 16 megapixel camera it's not the greatest out there video recording was a lot better than the titan however um, it's got 720p video recording which is a little low we'd like to see 1080 however the results were actually much better than we found on the titan so it's nice to see that they addressed that overall the htc titan 2 is a decent upgrade to the original titan you're not going to get a ton more but if you're in a 4g lte area that is definitely something that will be nice the 16 megapixel camera did turn out a little bit better. The video recording especially is better, but it's not a night and day difference. So if you bought an original HTC Titan, don't be too bummed that a couple months later they came out with the Titan 2. We do like the styling a little bit better. The back is just more refined. It's a little bit more grown up. The uh, way that the door here is integrated into the phone just looks a lot better in our opinion. But the guts are the same. They have the same processor, same memory, same operating system. So. For the most part, they pretty much are the same device with those two exceptions. Um, it is a good phone. It's one of the better Windows phones out there at 4.7 inches. The display is amazing. If you're a multimedia junkie, then you're definitely going to want to pick this one up because watching videos on this is really nice. But um, keep in mind that Windows phone is Windows phone, so 
whatever phone you're going to get, you're going to have pretty much the same user experience. You just want to pick a phone with good hardware, and the HTC Titan 2 is definitely one with that.